This video will go through the setup and use of Z3950 for cataloging in Sitka's Evergreen. To access the Z3950 interface, go to Cataloging, Import Record from Z3950. Before you can search via Z3950, you need to select which Z3950 services you'd like to have as your defaults. Different types of libraries will see different services listed. The list shown here is the one that displays for public libraries. Local Catalog displays as a service for all libraries and should be set as one of your defaults so that Evergreen will always show you if there's an existing match in the database. Set the services you expect to use the most as defaults. The more services you select, the longer your search will take as Evergreen has to search each Z3950 service. We recommend setting three to five sources as your defaults and then adding additional services to your searching as needed. Some Z3950 services, such as the British Library and OCLC, require you to have an account with them. These services will provide you with a username and password, which can be entered here. The active search fields on the left-hand side will change depending on the services you select. Different services may support different search types. Once you've selected the services you'd like as your defaults, click Save as Default. Defaults are saved as in-browser preferences, so will appear for any user that logs into Evergreen using the browser where it has been saved. Check the boxes for any additional services you'd like searched. Enter your search term and click Search. Your results will display at the bottom. You can click the arrows to hide the top sections of the screen. Take a look at the service column for the results. If a search result has the service Native Evergreen Catalog, that means there's a matching record already in the Sitka database. Select that record and click View Mark. Look at the mark record to confirm that it matches what you have in hand. If it does, click Cancel at the bottom of the pop-up and then click Show in Catalog. The existing record will open in a new tab and you can add your holding to it. If the Sitka record doesn't match your item, or if there are no matches to the Sitka database, select each result in turn and click View Mark to determine which of your results is the best match for your item. Once you've determined the best match, select it and click Edit then Import. Make any needed edits to the record. As this record has not yet been added to the Sitka database, and so has no items from other libraries attached, you can edit it as needed. At the very least, we recommend removing any fields that contain local data related to items held by the service the record comes from. In general, this information will be found in the 852 and 9xx fields. Ignore the Add Item checkbox, as the Fast Add Item feature is not currently available. Once you've made the needed edits, click Import. Next, click Go to Record. The record will open in the catalog in a new tab. You can now add your holdings to the record. See the video, Adding Holdings, for information on adding holdings to a record. When cataloging in Sitka's Evergreen, you may find that a record exists for the title you're cataloging, but when you look at the record in Mark Edit or Mark View, the record is only a brief record. In these cases, you can bring in a full record to replace the brief record. In the catalog record, go to Mark 4 and choose Overlay Target. Next, Access the Z3950 interface by going to Cataloging, Import Record from Z3950. The Z3950 interface will display with your default search services selected. Check the boxes for any additional services you'd like searched. 
If a record has been set as an overlay target, you'll see a message with the TCN above the function bar. Enter your search term and click search. Your results will display at the bottom. Take a look at the service column for the results. The existing brief record will display in the list with the service Native Evergreen Catalog. If you didn't mark the record as an overlay target in the catalog, you can do so now by selecting the record and choosing Mark Local Result as Overlay Target. Now, select each of the other records in turn and click View Mark to determine which result is the best match for your item. Remember, you're overlaying a record that already exists in the Sitka catalog, so there are likely items from multiple libraries attached to it. Make sure that the record you choose is for the same title described in the brief record. For example, if the existing record describes a paperback, don't overlay it with a record for the hardcover, or if the existing record is for a Blu-ray, don't overlay it with a record for a DVD. Once you've determined the best match, select it and click Overlay. Evergreen will display a pop-up that shows both records. Check both records carefully to make sure they are a match. Most importantly, check the titles to ensure both are records for the same title so you don't accidentally overlay a record with a completely different title. Use the Keep Local Fields Merge Target. Any 050, 055, 092, 590, 595, 690, 852, and 856 fields will be copied from the existing record into the new one you're bringing in. In this example, we can see the 590 field that has been copied to the new record. Click Edit Z3950 Record. Remove any fields that contain local data related to items held by the service the record came from. Generally, this information is found in the 852 fields and 9xx fields. Remember, the original record is used by other Sitka libraries so don't make any edits that change what the record is describing. Once you've made the needed edits, click Save. Then, click Overlay. The newly overlaid record will open in the catalog in a new tab. You can now add new holdings or edit existing holdings, depending on what is needed to finish cataloging your item. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.